Hello, my friend, how are you doing? Uh, just want to show you really quickly how you can identify outliers using SPSS. And to illustrate this, um, I have a fictitious data set here with the number of guitars owned by consumers. So let's say there is a study looking into perceptions or behaviors of guitar owners, and you want to know generally how many guitars people own in, in their house when they play guitar. So in the top of the menu, you click on Analyze. As you know, all tests in SPSS start here on, on Analyze. Then scroll down to Descriptive and then Explore. So when we click on Explore, this window pops up. We're going to, we have our variable here. We're going to drag it to the dependent uh, list box. We're going to click on Statistics. Then we need to check here Outliers. This is the main thing we want to know. Yeah, I'm going to click on continue, but also on plots, we're going to click here on histogram. Yeah, we can uncheck uh, stem and leaf, but we leave histogram um, checked and don't call it Instagram like my students do. The name is histogram. All right, then we click on continue, then we click on OK. Then we have our results. So we have a bunch of different statistics here that we don't need. We have our histogram which shows the distribution of the data and we can already see that there are two values that seem pretty way off in comparison with all others but when we scroll down to our box plot we have here something really interesting we have um, here two values that are clearly away from all of the general um, pattern from the data but what is interesting here from SPSS as well is how they are labeled because for example case number six has a circle Case number eight has a star. When there is a circle, what SPSS is doing saying is that it's potentially an outlier. You probably want to have a look into this one. When you have a star, it's saying it's very much a outlier. So you probably don't want to consider that when and um, um, conducting your results or running your tests. So, for example, if we go back to the data set, case number six is someone that has fourteen guitars. So that's quite a lot of guitars. It's certainly a professional. And case number eight is someone with 22 guitars. So that is for sure an outlier, yeah? So again, if we go back to our results, we have here case number six, which is the participant with 14 guitars, is labeled with a circle, so you might want to consider that. And participant uh, eight that has 22 guitars, for sure an outlier. So this is not exactly a, um, a uh, very precise science. And that's why I always tell my students, have a look on your box plot, have a look, identify those cases, go back to your data set, identify if they're really outliers, if you should remove them or not. However, when you do have a star, that is a very strong indication, but also have a look on your histogram. Never call it Instagram, it's histogram. But on your histogram, you're also going to see if there are patterns very much away from the general distribution from that data. Okay. Generally speaking, this is how you would check for outliers in SPSS. Don't forget to look on Live Innovation. There's an ebook with with uh, guides on um, how to use uh, SPSS. Don't forget to have a look on the playlist here on on YouTube for all of the other videos. Um, take a minute to like, subscribe, do all that thing if you feel so entitled to. I wish you a beautiful day. All the absolute best. Take care and bye-bye.